Hi guys, so let's talk some productivity tips and keyboard shortcuts in Visual Studio 2017. I'll be using the Community Edition, that's the free version. And uh, I hold a lot of courses and I'm used to not using any of those extensions such as ReSharper, just to make the student's experience match up with mine. Uh, if you've been using one of those plugins, you might find it interesting that a lot of that stuff comes right out of the box these days in Visual Studio. Um, I'll be doing a separate video on debugging, just to keep them both kind of snappy. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, so the first keyboard shortcut I'd like to look at is Control Q for opening the quick launch. So if you type Control Q, I can zoom in for us. Uh, we see up in the upper right corner here, it says quick launch. And here we can basically type whatever we want to do. So this is like an indexed list of every feature available in Visual Studio. So if we want to change the color theme, we'll just type theme. The first entry seems about right. So I'll hit enter. And that takes us to the correct place in options for switching color themes. So this is like a really nice feature because let's say we want to do look at the next uh, keyboard shortcut here, which is control shift A. So if we've forgotten about that shortcut, we can just go control Q and the, the shortcut is for adding a new item. So I'll just type add new item and it says uh, add new item. That's control shift A. So let's add a new class here. Let's call it a person. And now that we're in, we're in a class here, we want to get rid of some of these distracting windows. So let's go full screen. So it's a little convoluted shortcut, but it's shift alt enter. So shift alt enters toggles between full screen and not full screen. And uh, here, if, uh, yeah, if you're new to Visual Studio, you might not knew about, about, know about properties or sorry, uh, snippets. So snippets are great. It's just like a little code snippet prepared for us. So we don't have to type all this uh, basic syntax all the time. So prop, I hit tab twice, it generates a property for me. So I can hit tab and I'll go from, yeah, maybe I say string, tab, tab, name, and do another one, tab, age. Uh, and snippets are, there's tons of them about. So let's say I want a constructor. Let's say I want a for loop in that constructor. Let's say I want to loop it to 10. Just hit enter to leave snippet mode. CW for console right line, something like that. So there's so much, so many awesome snippets. So whenever you're wondering what snippets are available, easiest things are just to type. You can always go control KX as well, and it will show you a list of all the snippets. But basically just look for, just start to type whatever you're looking for and it'll show up. Okie dokie. So um, let's talk some navigation here. So if I hit control tab without uh, releasing the control key, I get this little list. So uh, that's Windows standard, right? So you can control tab between all your uh, open tabs. And uh, let's say I create an instance of that class here in program. So I'll go var person equals new person. And I'll use the initialization syntax here. Uh, by the way, if you don't, you're not getting the IntelliSense here, just go control space. Control space is for like, show me the IntelliSense now. And I'll just enter my name here and my age. 39. And uh, now let's say I want to navigate to this person class. So I'll just put the carrot over the person and boom, uh, F12 is basically go to definition. So just put the cursor wherever you want to go, hit F12 and it'll take you to that definition. Uh, if I want to go back now, so they have, there, there are, is a beautiful feature in Visual Studio where you can go just like a browser, you can go back and forth. So control hyphen will take you back and the cursor will be exactly where you left it. Control shift hyphen will take you forward. 
So those are really amazingly simple ways to navigate and uh, it's well worth checking out. Uh, of course, this, uh, the F12 feature, go to definition, works great on members as well. So I hit on H, it takes me to H. Uh, it's worth noting that if I go to a, a you know string, something that I haven't defined, so string uh, is something that Microsoft have defined, and I F12 into that one, then we get basically an, an interesting, like get some metadata of string here, so we can see that it's a sealed class, and we can see all the interfaces that it implements. Control hyphen again, just to go back. Um, I'm going to access, uh, let's say, the name property again here. So I'll add, uh, uh, let's add a exclamation mark there. So now we have two, two uh, calls to name here. Uh, and if I want to see everywhere in my application where name is used, I can just put the cursor on name and go control K R and then I release control. So basically now we have a list here showing us all the, the hits. So uh, we can double click on them and see where it takes us. Uh, if your list looks a little different here, it's because you can change the grouping here. So I prefer the definition only view. And here's a little gem in Visual Studio. If you want to, whenever you have a list and one of them is, you know, you want to go from one of the items to the next one. Just hit, hit F8 and it will basically takes you through the whole list. You can also go Shift F8 and it will take you back to the previous item. Works uh, beautiful even with uh, errors if you have compile time errors. You know, whatever whatever it is that you have in this list, it's uh, it's really really nice tip. Uh, Okie dokie. So another something that I use a lot in big files, and uh, you know when you have these hotspots, like you might have a, a method over in class A and a property over in class B, and you want to be able to navigate between them just really snappy. That's bookmarks. So let's say I hit a bookmark here on the class definition for person. So Control K K. I'm going to place place another one on name. Control KK and another one on uh, the last bracket here in this file. So now we have three of them. So Control BN, if we type that, we can see that it takes us through all these. So I'm having controlled, uh, I haven't, I'm never releasing control here. I have it pressed all the time. BP takes us to the previous, BN takes us to the next one. So the B is for bookmark and the N is for next or BP is for bookmark previous. So bookmark next, bookmark previous. So of course, uh, there's a lot more handy when we use them across uh, different files. Control KK to get rid of them, to toggle them. All right, so let's have a look at some copy paste functionality because there's a lot of copy paste functionality that people, um, a lot of people don't know about. So let's say I want to copy this line here, person name plus equals exclamation mark. So of course I'm a programmer and I'm too lazy to go something like this. So I'll just put the cursor anywhere on the line, hit control C, hit control V. So basically Visual Studio has figured out that, oh, we want to copy something, but we're too lazy to tell, it what, to tell Visual Studio what it is. So it takes the whole line. So control V will give you all of those. Um, another common scenario, if I place the cursor on this line here, do control C, can I now get back to this line? Yeah, yes, we can. So if I do control V, of course I get the latest one, but if I hold control shift down and press V multiple times, we see that ah, there's our, there's the last guy. So basically Visual Studio has a, a clipboard ring here with like, I don't know, 512 items maybe, something like that. Tons of them. So just keep shift, control, press down and hit V multiple times and you will cycle 
through that clipboard ring. Um, uh, if I want to delete a whole line, let's say I want to remove this, I'll just make one copy because maybe we want one around. Uh, we'll just go Control Shift L. So Control Shift L deletes a line without placing it in the clipboard. So it's a little different from Control X, which removes the line, but basically cuts the line and puts it in the clipboard. So Control Shift L just deletes a line for us. Um, something else um, that's kind of handy, if I put the cursor on a line and I press Alt, keep Alt pressed down and use the arrow keys, I can move the line anywhere I want. Of course it works with several lines as well. Okay, so before we end the first part of this video, I almost forgot my favorite favorite keyboard shortcut in, in Visual Studio, which is uh, go to all. So if we press Control T, we find ourselves in this little part of Visual Studio. So go to all, type whatever you want to get help. So here is basically the same thing as Control Q, only it's regarding our code instead of Visual Studio features. So here I can type uh, program and hit enter to go to program. Uh, we can go P for person. So it's basically, it's indexed every member of every type in our solution. Uh, we can also do stuff like, uh, we had name over there and we can filter this out and say, I just want to see, um, I only want to see members or I only want to see types, files or lines. So this is super helpful. So rather than jumping around in the solution explorer and picking, having to remember what, where was that file located, uh, you can you know you can just go Control T, type whatever you're looking for, and uh, that thing will help you out. So person hit enter, and it'll show up. Uh, one last tip: you can see here in the solution explorer. It actually highlighted person here that I'm working with person, uh, and if I would go were to go to program again, it would highlight that one. In case you're wondering what that's all about, it's in tools, options, and uh, projects and solutions, and there's this little item here: track active item in Solution Explorer. So that's the one. Uh, Okie dokie. So. That's it for the first part of this video. Now check out video number two. See you soon.